It's gonna rain. It's gonna be May. It's gonna be rain. Hello vlog. Good morning. It's Sunday and currently 8.48 right now. Um, forgot to mention in last night's vlog, or yes, last week's, I don't know, uh, the, the Vitamix was on sale on QVC today. So that means, uh, I think like two vlogs ago, we mentioned that we were wanting a Vitamix, like that was one of the big things that we wanted to buy. And so it's on sale today. I think we found out about it like Wednesday that it was going to be on sale today on Sunday. So we've been so excited. Smell is currently purchasing one right come now. Up, come look, come look. Come okay, look. let's go it's see. Giving... QVC Vitamix. We've wanted a Vitamix. This is the biggest one that they offer. It's a 64 ounce. This is their lowest um, price that they've had all year because this is the uh, gallery creations gallery so you get um let's see you get the vitamix and then you get this little um drink holder you get the tamper and then you get two cookbooks and then this like obviously vitamix cd which where would you even put this in like your tv because we don't have one of those on our computer hello good evening guys it's sunday we are jetting off to dinner with some of our friends after work came home changed and now we are heading to the cheesecake factory yes I'm wearing this jacket that you guys, or it's not really a jacket, it's more of like an overcoat that you guys really, really like. I forgot to mention that it was from Goodwill in the video that I featured it in, but this was from Goodwill a very long time ago. So yeah, I might do an outfit of the night later. So let's do your outfit, go! Uh, overcoat thing, Goodwill, uh, sweater. It's from Last Chance. Last Chance, button down, Goodwill, pants, the same ones I've been wearing all week from Zara. Boots report. Very nice. Alrighty, outfit of the night, go. Okay, this um, turtleneck is from Savers. Nice. It was in the recent video, or maybe it wasn't, but you guys remember it. The bomber, it's like this faux fur kind of whatever fantasy fur. It's from actually Lulu's. I got it last year. And then these jeans are from Goodwill. And then the boots are super old. They're from the Zara sale last year. And then I brought back the tote because I had to. So we are back home from dinner and we honestly had a great time. We always have a great time with our friends, but uh, they bought us birthday presents, which we told them not to and they did anyways. Melissa and I don't like to make a big deal out of our birthdays. We don't like to tell people when our birthday is just because, I don't know, it's not, it's not super important to us, you know? and. We just kind of like low-key celebrated, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the things they got us. First, a Starbucks gift card. I'm so excited for this, you don't even know. Thank you. And then, a pack of Oreo Thins. They know us too well. Then they got us these uh, Christmas tree to be spruce grow kit. And then we both got a little elephant bracelet love it and then they've got us both our own mugs with our initial m for melissa because they you know they don't call her smell like i do and then s for me because they don't call me punk they call me stephanie and then last but certainly not least when we opened this gift both Melissa and myself were completely shocked and we're just like no no but they got us an Apple TV because they have an Apple TV and every time we go over to their house we're like amazed by it so they're like we got you guys an Apple TV so you guys are the real MVP Hello vlog, it is Monday and it is one o'clock. So this morning Punk and I were supposed to meet with somebody from the New Times to do an interview, but unfortunately she got sick. So we had to postpone that and we're gonna do that on Wednesday instead when she's feeling better. I am currently cleaning my room. You guys can't see the mess because it's all down here. And I came across a few other things that I picked up in LA that I forgot to show you guys that are from the Rose Bowl. So I'm gonna share those right now. 
Okay, so I picked up this pin and this was three for $10. So I got the pin, I got this bracelet, if you guys can see it. And then Punk got one as well. And then this is the one that Punk got. So they're both green, but hers has the flower. And then I also picked up this pin for $1 and it says Rose Bowl, Pasadena, California. This was from a guy that was selling a bunch of different pins and patches, but I punk found this one. I thought it was really cool because we were just like in Pasadena. So the jacket is coming along nicely. It is around, oh, I'm not wearing my right watch. So this is my misfit. I'm pretty sure you guys have Your seen what? it. Misfit. It's the misfit shine. I've had it forever. I think you guys have probably seen it in a few vlogs. I tend to wear it on my clothes, but it has this um, watch strap so I'm trying to wear it as a watch and then if you do this hold on so if you tap it twice and then there it's showing the time so that's what time it is but I'm trying to get better at reading it because I always forget I don't know what the temperature is but it's so gloomy today super let's see what super cold is in Arizona for me 55 degrees right now it is pretty chilly but I guess yesterday um, the Cardinals beat the Seahawks I think it was 39 to 32 and um, I, I have to say I'm more of a Seahawks fan because I like Russell Wilson because he played for the Badgers so um, they anytime that the Cardinals went on whatever day you get a free medium hot or iced coffee at Dunkin' the day after. Last time they won, I didn't get it. And I was like crazy thinking that I was going to, but today I'm going to and I'm gonna get a hot coffee just to try it because I've never tried their warm coffee since it is chilly outside. But Punk, you know, she's a loyal. She's loyal to her Starbies, so she's gotta get yeah, the Starbies. So I just got the Dunkin' coffee i just got coffee with um a shot of french vanilla and i put a pack of sugar in here because i wasn't sure how sweet it was going to be but it's pretty sweet i didn't need the sugar at all so i'm not even stirring it around hopefully it just dissolves on the bottom of the cup and it's nice and warm too i mean obviously it's hot coffee but it's not scolding hot like i thought it would be i was expecting i was expecting to burn my tongue honestly so we just finished filming Q&A Tuesday. We got our whole like studio light set up over here, which is why the lighting looks so great. Well, maybe not, maybe a little bit overexposed, but we're going to take a thumbnail now on this camera because it has the flip out screen so we can see ourselves. Hopefully Cyber Monday, we get a new camera to shoot like all of our main videos on. We're hoping for a Canon 70D, fingers crossed. I see a lot of YouTubers use it, but um, and so that's not necessarily the only reason why we want to buy it, but it does have some features that our, our camera that we have now doesn't have. So we're really hoping there's some kind of deal or something on that camera. If not, ultimately we're going to invest in a new camera <laughs> this, this coming holiday season. <laughs> no! No! That's not how you do it! You mess it up! <laughs> Here we are, setting up the TV! So exciting! That's our freaking Wi-Fi path network. Your mom's chest hair. So we've been playing around on the Apple TV. It's so cool. This one is an app, it's called The Scene, and I'm so excited because it has my favorite thing that I love to watch all the time. Buzzfeed! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I can watch I've watched so many BuzzFeed videos, but this is just like my favorite thing now. I can just watch them all on my TV. This is the best. So now we are currently watching our favorite, one of our favorite vloggers. It's still loading it. Oh, okay. Well, it's still loading it, but um, our favorite Alex from uh, the now defunct Alex and Mia. But honestly, Alex is like the person that got us to start vlogging again because we were watching their vlogs and it made us want to vlog. Hello guys, it is Tuesday here in La Casa Valenzuela. I, I kept saying it was Saturday today, I don't know why, but it's Tuesday. I have my spot treatment on. Disregard that. I'm just chilling at home. We worked this morning, 5 to 2. I didn't get very much sleep last night, so it was a struggle bus to wake up this morning and just to get going, but I pushed myself and I got off a half an hour early and then I came home and I slept. 
Melissa is making some avocado toast. She keeps asking what she should do, even though she's a chef. Alrighty, here is my avocado toast with an egg on top. Looks pretty good. Disregard the bite that I already took out of it right here, but. So it is Wednesday and we are currently in the car. We just got Starbies. <laughs> Christmas music is currently playing on the radio. It just started yesterday, so the world is a better place. Um, Questionable. We had a interview this morning with Brittany from the New Times and that was really cool. It went really well. It's going to be posted on their blog. Yeah. Uh, we'll like let you guys know about that or like probably tweet about it on Twitter when that's done. So that was really, really cool. She was really nice, super easy to talk to and had some really good questions for us. And now we are off to whole foods i know that's very strange because we never go to whole foods there's really not one in our area but the one in phoenix is huge and we thought or i mean i i really don't know a lot about whole foods to be honest because we don't shop there either but apparently punk said that they have a really big salad bar so we're gonna go check that out it's across town it's not too far it's last chance I it's actually yeah it's like right by last chance but i'm i'm kind of like boycotting last chance since the last time we went it was like not even worth going punk is going to make her salad right now look at all of the selection so we are sitting outside of the Whole Foods. Here's Punk's ginormous salad. You said it cost around how much? $8. Eight bucks. I got like the hot warm foods. Mine was like only $4. I think it's perfect for me because I only like small portions of a bunch of things. So let's see what I got. Cause carb queen over here, me. <laughs> I was like, I want to try everything. But I got Brussels sprouts, um, some of the mac and cheese, the potatoes. This one piece of tofu, it's supposed to be like barbecue and um, this like, I think it was like a Tex-Mex, some kind of um, quinoa salad that I also got and Punk's massive salad. The Whole Foods definitely lived up to my expectations. I'm kind of annoyed now that there's not one in our part of town because I would definitely go there. I mean, the prices weren't, like, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, everybody's like, whole food's so expensive. Like, I guess really if you just buy, like, everything, oh, yeah, it's expensive. But if you go in knowing exactly what you need, mm -hmm. it's not that bad. There's the sign so you guys can see it. So Punk didn't get a pilot jacket at the Rose Bowl, and we thought they would have one here at this Army Surplus store. But the one that we wanted to go to apparently went out of business, and the other one we went to didn't have anything that was really used or pilot jackets at all. Yeah. So we came to Mesa Thrift, and right across from Mesa Thrift, did you guys ever go here? Is this little Mexican food restaurant? It's called Adrian's. So good. So, good. so we're, we're gonna do an outfit of the day in a different location. We came to take an Instagram photo. I didn't behind the Instagram, but I might try actually taking a photo with this camera because the lighting is really weird right now. So up for the day, go. Glasses, bomb look. Top, goodwill. Coat thing, goodwill. Which everybody seems to Which love. Let's loves. do like a close-up detail. Oh my gosh. And you got a compliment on it today yeah, too. The lady's like, yeah, that jacket's yesterday. awesome. Skirt. Forever 21. 21. Shoes. Report. Very nice. That's it. Outfit of the day. Basically, almost everything I'm wearing is thrifted. This is from Goodwill. So cute. The one we this fought is over. From Goodwill. And the trousers are also from Goodwill. Yep. That's everything. And the Supergirls are from Last Chance. They were like five bucks. Nice. All right. So I'm not exactly sure when we last updated you guys, but Mosa is making avocado toast once again for the second night in a row because it was bomb. And I thought I would just quickly do a haul of the stuff I picked up at Last Chance because why not? Melissa found all three of these items for me. This top shop, just kind of, it's not super cropped and it's kind of wide, striped gray and white top. It was $4.97. The same one in this, I wanna see how much they are too. For $3.97 white with this is a navy blue i thought it was cute and then the third one same style with the baby blue and the white collar and sleeves next thing i found were these kind of cropped culottes they're this 
tropical-ish print. This is horrible lighting. The leaves are an olive green and then the back is white. I thought they were so cool. They fit really well. They have pockets right here on the side and these were only $7.97. And then the most expensive thing that I found, but honestly one of the coolest, this vest by Cupcakes and Cashmere. It's a size two. It's a long kind of waistcoat <laughs> and this was $20.97, kind of steep for something at last chance, I mean, but there was a white one at Zara that I liked and it was, I think, $100, so this one fits really well. Pretty long, perfect condition, no makeup stains or anything on it. The pockets have yet to be opened, which is nice. The grand total, I think, with tax was $45 for three tops a pair of culottes and a nice vest. Hello vlog, it is Thursday and it is two o'clock. We are going to head out and get some Starbies. Yeah, and we're gonna go to Walmart because we need to get some stuff for the house. It seems like every day we go to either like Walmart or Target. So we decided to go to a Walmart that is kind of a ways from us. It's like across town. It's not that far, I guess. But um, it's right next to a Skechers like outlet and I kind of wanted to go to that too. So Punk is being very nice and driving us over to that part of town. Also, um, I don't know if any of you guys get emails from, what is it? What is it? The, it's like stateside or whatever one does like all of the local like shows here, but the used is coming in April. Uh, little known fact, Punk and I were like really big the used fans. Like anything, like yeah. My Chemical Romance was like also one of my favorites too, but they're coming back for two nights in April and they're gonna do the used one night and then they're gonna do In Love and Death the other night and we were really thinking about getting tickets because I used to know how to draw the album artwork for In Love and Death. Yeah. Like that's how like, that's how much we're like I was really like, oh, into this these. tattooed on me. That's a bit much. That was a bit much. But right? yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, so now we're listening to The Used because we haven't listened to it in forever. And honestly, like both really good albums. So we are home. I changed tops because we were about to film a haul. Apparently I didn't buy that much at Savers when we went. I thought I bought a lot just because we had a really big bag, but I guess I only picked up two turtlenecks. The Skechers outlet was kind of a dud. The one pair of shoes that I liked, they didn't have in my size, of course, out of all of the shoes that they had. But I'm also kind of looking for things that I know aren't at the outlet right now because they're both new. And um, Punk is playing around with the Apple TV, mirroring whatever is on our computer onto the TV. So we're getting ready to film. Punk's just setting everything up. And yeah, this shouldn't take that long to film. And then I can edit it and have it up. Oh, I've got to move a little bit. So it is a little after five and we came home, but I already told you guys that, and filmed the haul. So basically earlier we went to Walmart to get everything that Punk needed for her salads that she was going to make and we wanted to get everything for our Thanksgiving dinner and the potluck that we're supposed to bring for work, but we're kind of torn because we don't know if we should bring student driver. So you I know how to drive. Um, we don't know if we should bring sodas because our thought is that everybody's gonna bring food and nobody's going to bring drinks and this has happened you know on previous potlucks nobody ever brings drinks so we're like okay let's play it safe and bring sodas or we can bring cheesy potatoes which we know are bomb so we're not sure which one to bring and it's kind of like throwing everything off because we want to get the best deal on sodas but we also want to have a good variety but we forgot punk forgot the ads earlier so we already went to walmart and didn't get anything except the lady was really nice and gave us avocados for for a dollar you know this is one of my favorite songs <laughs> she's getting so into this song right now she's really getting into it hello vlog Good afternoon. It is Friday here in La Casa Valenzuela and it has been, I'm not gonna lie, a pretty shitty day at work. And so we mentioned earlier in the vlog that we ordered a Vitamix. I don't think we mentioned that it was supposed to be here next Monday, but it's already here. I'm so excited. Oh, oh. oh. Holy. Hey. 
that. It was guacamole. Really gorgeous. It looks so nice. Oh my goodness. This is one of the Creations Recipes book wow. that came with it. And there's also another book too that came with it. This one, 365 Skinny Smoothies. Wow, this is so Delicious nice. Delicious recipes to help you slim and stay healthy every day for a year. Nice. That's awesome. Okay, well here's the, the bottom the base. part, the base. The, oh, this is the drink holder. You get a drink holder with it. How nice. I know, this is really nice. Um, wow, this was so fast. QVC, we ordered this on Sunday and it's chamber. Friday. So we cleaned up all the clutter over here, all of the appliances that we didn't use, a blender, a toaster, a little like magic bullet, our George Foreman, which we will use that. But now we have Vidi, the Vitamix, and she's ready to blend. We have kale, apples, carrots, and cucumber. So we're gonna try this out. So check out the green juice that we just made. I think Punk is a little bit scared to crank up the, the um. I don't want it to like break. I mean, it's meant to be very powerful. Okay. You're just used to like regular blenders. Hello guys, it is Sunday and I'm quickly signing off from last week's vlog. We forgot to do so last night. We got home late from work and I literally ate and then went to bed. So if you guys did enjoy this vlog, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's not what I originally intended to say. We hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for spending another week with us. And once I'm done with this clip, I'm going to already jump into next week's vlog. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye.